A local high school has suspended sports practices for the remainder of this week. Just tomorrow as North Iredell High School is saying that this is because of COVID-19 cases connected to athletics. The school says that it will also cancel all home games to help slow community spread of the virus. North Iredell transitioned to remote learning this past Friday. The school is scheduled to return to in-person learning on Monday. North Carolina is seeing an increase in the number of COVID clusters among school sports teams. State officials say from July the 1st through September the 2nd, those teams actually accounted for about 45% of all of the clusters at middle and high schools in the state. Tonight, some relief in a Charlotte neighborhood that fell victim to a deadly crime spree earlier this week. The statewide manhunt for accused killer Malik Moore ended in Greensboro today. Our Genevieve Curtis is in NODA tonight where people, of course, are relieved to find out not only is he not in the area, but he's now been arrested, Genevieve. Yes, Scott, neighbors in the noted neighborhood tell me they are relieved that the manhunt for Malik Moore is over after he was arrested in Greensboro earlier this afternoon. And people say that this search started here. They felt on edge. That all began on Monday after police discovered the body of a woman here at an art studio. Super relieved, for sure. At the exchange at 36, a boarded up door is the only visible sign of damage left from a burglary Sunday night. Police released this video saying Malik Moore broke into the Noda business Sunday night. Owner Kevin Samuel says he's feeling relieved to know Moore is now in jail after a manhunt to find him. Pretty uneasy. The neighborhood, is, I feel like, has been the same. Police say that same day, Moore assaulted someone on the Greenway in Villa Heights and killed 29-year-old Gabrielle Allnut in this artist studio in Optimus Park. Hi, everyone. This is Gabrielle. Allnut was from New Orleans and came to stay in Charlotte before Hurricane Ida hit. She found work at a local pottery shop. Sometimes when you meet people and they make a connection to you that's unusual but makes a huge impact on your life, and she was one of those people. Greensboro police say Moore was wanted for the murder of a 21-year-old there. Thursday afternoon, police say a Greensboro resident spotted him and called 911. Back in Noda, Samuel says the neighborhood has been on edge the last few nights as police and the FBI search for more. There was nobody on the street. At one point, officers came to a couple of bars around here, told them they would go inside because they thought they, someone called in a tip thinking they saw him around here. I think people will feel a lot more safe now. And CMPD says that Moore is in the Guilford County Jail where he will be when they serve him with warrants for crimes in Charlotte. Scott.